Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, 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 oh, welcome back to 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. So the last time we were here, we were playing as this fine young soldier, uh, as we kind of explored his transition from the past to the present, or to the past to the future. No, past to the, well, technically the past to the past, if that makes sense. Anyway. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be bouncing in between gameplay and RTS to try to hopefully get more of a grasp on the story as to what the hell is going on. But with that said, lads, as always, if you enjoy this channel, content, my general nonsense, any and all engagements you guys leave helps this channel out tremendously with the algorithm. Likes, dislikes, bell icon, comments are all fantastic ways of helping the community to grow. Helps encourage the algorithm to push out our videos and also helps you guys to stay informed with the channel. Other than that, if you guys want to come hang out with me, link in the description below for the Discord where we do community events, we cha uh, chat and game. Actually, as a matter of fact, I was showing off the uh, simulator that I have to use to study for HVAC this afternoon. Which, that is a story in of itself that I will get into later. Because I have, I know that this is a program through the FDNY, so I understand that to some degree... It's gonna be hot garbage, but never in my wildest dreams have I ever used a program that was, like, North Korean hot garbage. Like, it, it, it's bad. So, yeah. Yeah, that's, um, what else do I expect? But anyway, enough of my ramblings. Let me get into the game. So we're gonna continue with this dude's story. Now I at least have an idea of what I need to do. No matter where I am. Uh-huh, yep. Alright, so let's see, so... Can I see the... No. Alright, so we gotta see if, uh, what's gonna trigger... I met Natsuno-san over at the shrine. She ended up dodging my question. What was she doing there? She attends the same school as Jurokun. At least that's what he told me. The kid that lived next door to us was killed in an air raid. Children in this era don't have to worry about that. Did we do this already? No, okay. Nothing's changed today either. Okay. Secret Sentinel building, alright. Let me hold on, let me head back. And if we go chart. Oh, 1945. I'm dumb. Which technically not to know is also valid as well, so I gotta figure out how to get hold of... Am I gonna talk about time travel? <clears throat> Alright, that's where I got confused. Alright, so I gotta go 1945. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. You and that sunset. The nineteen forty-five art. Before the war, my uncle gave me a sci-fi novel, a story about traveling through time to the future. It only ever felt like a far-off fantasy. To think it ever become a reality. Alright, so how do I proceed on from here? Because, if I remember correctly, last time we were here, it just kind of triggered. Like, you were able to just go on with it, so... There's something maybe I have to, like, interact with? 
things changed today. Mm hmm. No, all right. All right, so maybe I just need to. figure out how to take back the sentinel then i can find a way to return to 1945 though i can't seem to reactivate it i've tried countless times too i hope i didn't break it if there's a mechanical issue i'd love to take a look at it but security around the building's been tight lately now i can't get too close I can't just sit here. Actually, that factory at the mountain pass may have survived the air raid. It might still be standing in this era. Oh, see, there we go. That's what we needed. There we go. All right, so I was dumb. Ayame Park. This is where the factory used to be. Chihiro? Is it really you? What business do you have with my little sister? Who are you? I'm that child's older brother. Is there something you need from her? No. She just... looks like a relative of mine. Let's get going. Shihiro, if she's still alive, she'd be over 40 by now. If she's... We don't have a family burial plot where I'd find her. I have no idea what's happened to her. She's either alive somewhere in this world, or... That's gonna be jarring as shit for her to see you. I'm going to find my way back to you. Um, okay, wait. Alright, so. Is something for me to interact with? No. I mean, we've established that this is a park, yes. In any case, I should go talk to Natsuno-san. She must know something. Okay, sure. Sakura High School. It looks nothing like the school I attended. This random ass dude is just gonna walk on school grounds and no one's gonna have a problem with it. It's still here. It's been renovated. But I do recognize this building. If this is the school building, and over there's where the potato field used to be. Looks like that plot of land got bigger. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way in. Uh, yeah, this, it's called a door. It's right there. No, see, in 1985, when you want to enter a building, you teleport in. We, you know, we developed teleportation here. technology. Do they not use this building? This building was brand new. Now the floorboards creak. The pillars are all scratched up. And really has been 40 years. <sighs> this is where I waited for Takatoshi-san. 
and more Tamausan came to see me off. How strange. It almost feels like it was all just a distant dream. All right, enough. This isn't the time to be getting sentimental. Oh, Miracon. That's all you're going to say? Megumi-san, thank you again for the bento you gave me. I found a nice spot to eat it by the Kaide River. A bento with meatballs. Quite luxurious. I was very impressed. Oh, they were just regular old meatballs. Nothing special, but I'm glad you liked it. Oh, and there we go. We're going to start walking sideways again. What are you doing out here? Are you looking for someone? I'm trying to find Natsuno-san. Would you happen to know where she is? Minami-san? She should be in the track room. The athletic building's over that way. Want me to go check? No, that's okay. Oh yeah, so for dinner tonight, I think I'll make Hamburg steak. You seem to really like it. You mean that giant ball of meat? Hamburger meat, yeah. It's Jiro's favorite. So try not to come home too late. Uh, Alright, so I guess we're going back in. Cool. Natsuno san's over there. Everyone's staring at me. I'm glad I found Natsuno san. But I don't like all this attention. Hey, you. Yes? Can I help you? You've been standing there an awfully long time. What are you doing? I'm waiting for Natsuno Minami. Minami? How do you know her? And how old are you? Looks like a middle school uniform to me. No, uh, I'm, uh... Seriously? You guys have to be so nosy. Not so no son. Come on, let's go. Sorry I took a while getting changed. It's fine. I said I'd wait. So, whenever you exercise, you all change into outfits that show your legs? That's fascinating. <laughs> oh, he got a boner. Anyway, you kind of showed up at school out of nowhere. Everything okay? Natsuno-san. I met you before. Back in 1945. And now, here you are. Huh? You must know something about all this. About how I ended up in this era. Please. Tell me what you know. That's, uh... Jeez, how do I put this? <laughs> Look, I can't really talk about it here. We could go to the building I used back in my time. It seemed to be empty. The old school building? We can go in there? Yes. It was open. Alright. Then we'll talk about it there. Let's go. I always thought this place would be locked up. We should be good here. Miyura-kun, can you keep a secret? Uh, of course. Okay. <laughs> then I'll tell you. Don't freak out, okay? This is BJ. He's an alien from the future. <laughs> B 
EJ's looking for the robot he used to get here. And I'm helping him find it. A robot? Does the word Sentinel ring a bell? <laughs> that Sentinel from back in 1945 belongs to BJ's alien friend. There are a few of them, too. How does she know about the Sentinel? Bro, she's got a little Metal Gear rolling around aliens? next to her. It's a top secret military weapon created by Japan. Y you sure about that? I don't need to tell you this. But those babies are capable of time travel. <sighs> Bro, she's shot for shot explaining to you what a sentinel is. At this point, can you really be surprised it's alien technology? Like, come on. This BJ. I have some questions about it. I've heard Shikishima engineers talk about something like this. Isn't this actually a type of scout unit? Shikishima? They don't dabble in alien technology. Yes, they do. All they do is make weapons, and BJ is no weapon. But... Chikaro, Miura. If he's just a scout unit, explain how he can talk. Don't be a jerk, Miracoon. BJ isn't some kind of robot. This is just a spacesuit. Aliens come in all shapes and sizes. My guess is, the only thing inside that suit is BJ's brain. Uh, let's see, so can I ask him? There we go. Why are you searching for the Sentinel? What's your objective? To uncover the truth. The truth? You wish to know where you came from. Do you not? What are you talking about? I came from 1945. Incorrect. Your log proves otherwise. My log? Yeah, show us. His log? What do you mean? His penis? This log. If you really have it, I'd like to see it. Professor. I have switched over to a private channel. Professor Takamiya. Can you hear me? Is that... Miura kun Professor Takamiya. So he's an astronaut now. from the future Thank that you, thinks he's from 1945? What the heck? Yuki-chan? Everything goes smoothly with the shuttle? I was able to secure a seat thanks to you. It'll probably be the last shuttle. This place will be lost by tomorrow, too. Has the front line advanced that much already? Afraid so. If anything, they're picking up speed. Did Natsuno get out safely? She arrived in Sector 4 about five hours ago. Ah, so she's there with you. You know, you two. I never approved of your relationship. <laughs> what? Mom! There's my girl. <laughs> you know I'm only kidding. I didn't think you wanted to talk to me anymore. Of course I do. I'm sorry about all the trouble with your father. He and I haven't been on good terms since we split up. It's okay, Mom. I want to be with you. I'm confused. What the fuck is going on here? Me too, Nanchan. Yuki-chan's my mom? I'm sorry, Professor Takamiya. The shuttle's about to take off. All right. I'll see you at Sector 3 in 14 hours. We'll be waiting for you at Landing Zone 10. Or did everybody just wipe their memories and just scatter throughout time and space? The destruction is spreading. It's only a matter of time until the surface is lost. What the heck was all that? I have to know. When was that log recorded? In the year 2188. That doesn't make sense. How is this even possible? Yuki-chan's my mom in the future? Yo, can the little robot just explain some shit? Because my brain hurts. Oh, let's see where we're at right now with this dude. Uh...
All right, so we can continue with him. And I'm only continuing with him because I'm curious. Because they have my intrigue. The whole weird... Th this this hurts. It, like, it hurts my brain because no I'm like... Yeah, yeah, you in the sunset. God damn it. I'm, like, baffled. Uh, She's from 1985. She seems to know about the existence of other sentinels. Is that how she's able to travel through time? Maybe there's another way. In any case, she appears to be a central figure in all this. Could she still be at school? So I imagine we know that she's in the sports building by now. Yeah, there you go. Natsuno sounds over there. So is this gonna automatically trigger the previous events or Natsuno san? Get it together, Keitaro. She certainly is quite yes. I admit, she's bright, cheerful, attractive. Someone has a boner. But right now, I have more urgent matters to tend to. You again. Hi, hey, how you doing? Minami isn't here today. Must have been really important. She even ditched practice. Is that so? Hey, are you Minami-san's boyfriend? How far have you two gone? Supposedly that what? is the case. No, you've got it all wrong. Do you happen to know where she went? All she said was that she was in a hurry. But I don't know where she went. I know where. She went over to Tokisaka Shrine. What's she doing there? Not sure. I didn't ask. Oh. I see you, sneaky bitch. I actually think I still see her skirt right here. Like, if you look at the very corner, you can see her skirt still flapping around. Yet, for some reason, you can't interact with her. I know you're there! No point in staying if she isn't here. Why would I go home, though? We know she's apparently at the shrine. Oh, there you go. Shrine, huh? That's where I first met her, but it was back in my own era. Oh, there she is! There she is! She's still spying on me! I was right! Amazing. The shrine's hardly changed at all. The surrounding thicket, on the other hand, that has changed considerably. I don't see Natsuno-san anywhere. I wonder if she's hiding behind the trees again. What I'd give to see that. No luck. We couldn't find it. I wonder where it could be. Natsuno-san. Whoa! Well, hey, uh, what are you doing out so late? And why are you here, of all places? Natsuno-san, what was that just now? There was a big flash of light and you just... appeared. Just like when I came to this era in my Sentinel. Same flash of light and everything. I, uh... Come to think of it, this happened at the shrine back when we first met, too. There was a similar flash, almost like lightning. I get it now. You have to come here to travel through time. What do we do, BJ? Please, tell me what's going on. I mean, the guy's I already out of time as it is. You might as well just tell him the truth. Are you just going to leave your sentinels behind? Oh yeah, that's how you got here. What are you going to do with it? <laughs> 
You're dead set on this then? You definitely want to go home? I'll figure out how to deal with the Sentinel later. It's Shihiro, my little sister. If there's any chance she made it out of that hell alive, then I have to find out. Hmm. Okay, that makes sense. BJ, think you can make it happen? There's nothing else I could uh, throw at them, or... Please. with Natsuno Minami all this time. Is it really that easy to travel through time? <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? If we have the power to travel freely through time, can I just send the Sentinel back to before the war starts? Nope, that's impossible. We can't just jump around as far as we want. We can only travel 40 years at a time. Besides, this is as far back in the past as we can go. I see. That's unfortunate. This cheating son of a bitch wants to go back without Ooh, 20, 30 years before the war starts so you can have Japan beat the United States. It ain't gonna happen, bitch. America's still gonna kick your ass. Still gonna bring freedom. For now, let's find Shihiro. All right, let's go. Where are we going? This way. She's most likely at an evacuation shelter. If not, then I might find her at the Karabe's house. going on the place is deserted the factory and station are both empty radios are down no one's answering where is everyone you see that it's that creature okay so that thing is an alien weapon and it's here to invade earth the sentinels were created to fight them off this is just like what happened in the city from the future. After the aliens invaded, everyone was gone. Wait, if people are disappearing in the past, what's happening to everyone in my era? <sighs> Unless time isn't a straight line like we think it is. And this is just one possible reality. That's... Tamao-san! <sighs> what happened? Sister, son, what are you doing? Let me go! Please calm down, Miss Morimura. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Where do you plan on taking her? <laughs> I apologize for what I've done to you, but you have no reason to worry. <laughs> that little girl grows up to be the big titty nurse. Goto, the one who 
was giving you medicine. Uh... Tamaho san! She disappeared. Use her soul control. I shifted her. Does that mean the aliens got her? Probably. It's likely that everyone is being held there. Until this world comes to an end. Okay, and then what? They're just gonna kill everyone? So that was his sister. Oh. Let me see. Oh wait, damn it! I didn't want to do that shit. I goofed. I did not want to do that. What I wanted to do was check his chart. We can actually proceed here. So yeah, we can continue with his story. I figure if anything, his isn't that hard to proceed through. So we might as well just wrap up his shit. Chihiro. Um Actually hold on. Renia Goto. He's the one who took Chihiro from me. If he's in 1985, then Chihiro will be with him. The lights in this don't need to carry a lamp. aren't secret U.S. military weapons. They're alien invaders from the future. And the Sentinels are the tools we need to defeat them. Our mother's terrible at self. I'd never seen her stroke. It's peace to get... Even still, Chihiro took it with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we heard Even about that. Even if I do bring the Sentinel back home, how can I bring myself to fight? The ones I swore to protect are gone. According to the history of this era, it has indeed been 40 years. But this era doesn't seem to be based on the era I'm from. The two aren't connected. Perhaps this isn't really time travel after all. Those meatballs they call Hamburger. I've never had anything so delicious. Enough. This is no time to be distracted by food. Okay, so... Renya Goto. He's the one who took Chihiro from me. He might be the same guy that Tamao-san gets her pills from. According to Natsuno-san, a boy named Renya Goto attends school in this era. He can apparently travel through time too. And BJ said he's from 80 years in the future. Not to know something. That scout unit is an eight at least. The footage he sh if it's real. All I know for certain is right, that... Yep. Could he be at the school? I don't care what it takes. I'm going to find him. All right, then let's and go to the school. I'm going to get Chihiro back. I mean... A little late for that, she became the big titty nurse. May have been killed by somebody else. I'm thinking maybe we just wait. Renya Goto is Natsuno san's senpai. He also attends the school in 1985. And according to BJ, He's from even further into the future. That's something we do have to go this way. Oh, there she is. Speak of the devil. Natsuno san. Thanks, but I'm fine. In fact, I came here to find Renya Goto. But I have no idea what he looks like or how he dresses. Could you point him out to me? That might be a little tough. 
Goto Senpai has him in back on campus. I asked around, and no teacher knows where he lives. Well, that's a problem. Hmm. Oh, Matsuno chan. Miwako, done with practice already? Oh, you have that picture of Goto Senpai, right? The one you took when he wasn't looking? Uh, hey! Not so loud! Sorry, sorry. So do you have it? Yeah. Yes, this is it! Miracoon! Look, I've got a picture of Goto-senpai. Pardon my interruption. He's the tall guy in the back. This here is Renya Goto? The one with the glasses? Yep, that's him. Thanks, Miwako. Oh, she's a creeper. How could this be? The man I saw at the park was Renya Goto. The bastard who kidnapped Chihiro. So that was, in fact, his little sister. Chihiro? It really is you, isn't it? Please say something. Uh -uh. I found this. It survived the air raid. I meant to give it back to you earlier. This is your favorite stuffed animal, isn't it? Big... Big brother! Don't lose it again, all right? I won't. Chihiro... It really is you. I'm so relieved you're safe. This is nothing interactive, right just to talk to her. Got it. I suppose it's true. What the fuck? It's not like my memories were displaced. My blissful dependency is your little sister. It's become part of my identity. Denial can cause enormous strain to one's psyche. Shihiro? Are you okay? Better than okay. I've regained my original memories. What the shit? I'm Chihiro Morimura. Morimura? You're the one who insisted on keeping that a secret. Yet you gave it away in the end. It's you. Sometimes a bold change in plans is necessary. You'd know that better than anyone. Wouldn't you, Goto-kun? I didn't expect to see you here. Renya Goto. What the hell did you do to Chihiro? <sighs> I don't appreciate the hostility. But what you see here is Chihiro in her original state. She was never your little sister to begin with. Shut up! I'm not listening so to So I'm under the impression saying. that everyone here has lost their memory and they're just living some fantasy because of the memory loss. I believe you misunderstand the situation. Chihiro. Listen to your big brother, and come with me. We're going. Where, exactly? Back to 1945, where no one's left? Don't you see? It doesn't matter where we run. <laughs> if we have any hopes of preventing the loop, we need to prioritize gaining control over all systems. You've always been the dependable type. You used to be an excellent design engineer. What are you talking about? I'll always be on your side, Chihiro. That's what you told me, remember? So please, cooperate. Wow, she's a manipulative bitch. <sighs> Is everything prepared, Goto-kun? Already. Good. Then I shouldn't waste any more time. Let's hurry. Chihiro! <laughs> 
Don't even bother. Get out of my way. Shihiro is coming with me. She's being targeted for assassination. <laughs> and I highly doubt you have the capacity to protect her. What? Who would... Hey, Sekigahara. Should you decide to cooperate, let me know. <sighs> Sekigahara. Did he travel through time too? Is that how he got here? Tamao-san, the military police are gone for now. How are things looking? They're searching for Kiriko-san. I can't believe she's a spy. And they seem to think she's associated with him. He must have dragged her into this. I just don't understand. Why protect a wanted man? <sighs> that woman... Her name isn't Kiriko Doji, and she doesn't come from this world. You're a lunatic. I don't get it. What could she want with the Sentinel? You know about the Sentinel? You really are a spy. If she were to try and escape, she'd likely use the gate. If we leave now, we might be able to catch up to her. Sekigahara-san. Please, I have to know the truth. I was told that my parents aren't really my parents, and that I was brought here from the future. Is that what Kiriko Doji told you? I don't know why she'd lie, but I think that explains the dreams I keep having. She's tampered with your memories. Uh. He's out of his mind. Don't listen to a word he says to Mao-san. We should just turn him in. Keitaro-san, please. I don't want it to come to that. Keitaro? As in Keitaro Miura? How the hell do you know my name? I see. So it's you. What are you on about now? You and I have been fighting alongside each other. I've never seen you before in my life. The Miura of this era hasn't. The Miura of the future has. The future? Yes. He no longer has his physical body. His consciousness is currently stored inside a scout unit. Oh. Then, Keitaro-san is... One and the same. <sighs> I've had enough of this nonsense. You, come with me. I'm taking you in. Don't move. Uh, Sekigahara-san. You bastard. Like you said, I'm out of my mind. Poison is coursing through my brain as we speak. Alrighty then. Let me see, can I not? So, I don't know what I have to do with this guy yet. So, we got nothing with him. Can't do nothing with you. Uh, this dude has nothing. Oh, wait, well, actually, no, I can just start off with him. Uh, start off with her. I think I was lost. We got as far as there and then I got lost. Um, oh, shit. I didn't want to click her. Damn it. Did you see that, Usami-chan? It was that kitty again! I don't see it. Must have taken off already. After this, you wanted to go to the record store, right? Yes! You must really want that new idol group's album. Well, you know the lead vocalist? He looks a bit like amikuchi -kun. So what? Jeez. Man, all the guys at school suck. Spread not even one you might like? Are you sending your love?
love letter, Miwa-chan? I don't know. My fortune said bad luck this week, so... I see. Confessions take a lot of courage, huh? Yuri-chan. Uh, sorry, sorry. Don't mind me. You should get a four-leaf clover, Yuri-chan. Huh? It's a love charm. I saw it in a magazine. It came off a little aggressive there. I was like, what the fuck? Why is she, uh... Your wish will come true. Alrighty then. Uh -huh. And what was it last week? Put a photo of your crush inside your pillow? I mean, you know what? I admire her dedication, despite the fact that it's probably not working out well. About Amiguchi-kun. I heard he's not joining the basketball team. What a shame. He's so good at it. Back in grade school, he played soccer. But one day, he just got bored and quit. You guys knew each other back then? Yeah, in fourth grade. Nachan too. We were in the same class. Oh, hey. Even just watching from afar. Oh. Did you see that? It was that kitty again. I don't see it. Must be taken off already. Wait, what? So many stray cats After around this. here. You wanted to go. Yeah, you must. Well, he looks so. Man, all the guys um, at school okay. suck. There's not even so one what am I might <gasps> like. And then the cat's probably gonna run off, right? Even just walking from afar. Oh, the cat's all ran off. Did you see that, Usami chan? It was that kitty again. I don't see it. Alright, so that fur ball is gonna end up coming back around. Taken off already. So many stray cats around here. Maybe someone's feeding them. What's the chance that I'm gonna leave? Think it's the same one I saw at school? I don't know. A lot of cats look like that. You saw it too, right, Yuri chan Didn't it look the same? After this, you want no, to get you want lap heaps? Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like. <sighs> Being in love is wonderful, son. Yeah, he's gonna yeah, he's gonna run off. Did you see that, Usami chan It was that kitty again. I don't see it. What am I doing wrong? Must have taken off already. So many stray cats around here. Maybe someone's feeding them. That kitty. Think it's the same one I saw at school? I don't know. A lot of cats look like that. You saw it too, right, Yuri chan Didn't it look the same? Oh, it's over there! Where, where, where is it? I don't see it. Yeah, neither, but... Must have taken off already. Is he gonna really repeat the dialogue? So many stray cats around it's here. It's just gonna keep repeating. Maybe someone's feeding them. That kitty. Think it's the same one I saw at school? I don't know. A lot of cats look like that. After this. You wanted to keep you up loud. Alright, no, so we're back to that. Man, all the guys at school suck. Cat comes back. There's not even one you might like. <sighs> Maybe there's something I'm Let me end adventure. Maybe there's something I'm missing. Apparently I literally just need to sit there and listen to their conversation. Yes. Okay, let's let's uh, continue the assassin story. I'm back. Running around being female, John Wick Jiro popping hasn't people. Come home yet. Fluffy isn't here either. I should get dinner ready.
what should I make for dinner? I think we have some ground beef. I'll make Juro's favorite meal. Time to cook some Hamburg steak. And done. I'm home. Whoa. What a feast. Miracle. Did you make all of this? Amazing. We'll eat once Juro gets back. Why don't you go wash up while we wait? Right. Sounds like you're pretty hungry. It's okay. I will wait. No? Okay, what else do I, uh... Stop out of the third. Shimada coming into venture. He's closing in on a thousand. This could be it. Okay, nothing over here. I just keep talking to him? Well, it seems like Juro is going to be late. Go ahead and eat before it gets cold. No, I could never. Please, I insist. Go ahead. Uh, uh, are you sure? But what about you, Megumi-san? Don't worry. I'll eat with Juro. I see. Oh. In that case, I'll do as you suggest. Thank you for always preparing our meals. It was as delicious as ever. Oh, thank you. Can I help you with anything? That's okay. I've already put away the cutting board and everything. Why don't you go watch some TV and relax? TV? That's better. Mm. You know, Miyura-kun, you don't have to wear your hat in the house. The surgical scar on your forehead doesn't bother me. How did you know this scar was from surgery? Did I tell you? Oh. Oh. Well... It, um... Just a lucky guess. Uh, how do you know that was a scar? See. Oh, a surgical scar. Oh. It all happened right here. And that's that. Keitaro Miura is a witch. You can't overlook him just because he lives here. But Juro could be home any minute. Does it have to be now? Yes, right now. <sighs> now, on to the next headline. The video store explosion that occurred today in Keiakicho. An investigation found that the accident was the result of a gas leak. This is what happened before. My eyes was dead. Look at what to do or what am I supposed to interact with? Don't come over here, you coward! Hurry up and shoot him right in the forehead. Oh. Yeah, this cat's an asshole. Miracle, you always wear your hat, even when you eat. Megumi-san? Why is that? It's because I have a scar on my forehead. I thought it might be unpleasant. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. That scar, it allows you to pilot a sentinel. Isn't that right? How do you know about that? You want to know how? I'll tell you. 
But can you show me your forehead first? I'm sorry, but I have no choice. This will hurt, but you'll soon forget. I'm sorry, Miyurakun. Don't touch him. He's dangerous. <clears throat> Just as I thought. He's had surgery. There's a component embedded in his forehead. It forces them to use their magic. Who would do such a thing? Humans, obviously. There's many that greatly covet this power. I think Fluffy's part of the alien invasion. He's one of the assholes. But it's not entirely bad. That component gave him immunity to the curse. This is a good catch. The curse? Yes, he is able to use magic and not suffer the same fate as Juro. Huh? All right, he's sealed. It won't be long before he wakes. I'd get out of here if I were you. A curse, huh? Next, we bring you up on the gas explosion in Kiyakicho. The administration claims these explosions are being taken seriously. Gas companies have been put on immediate notice and instructed to be vigilant in their inspections. Gas explosions? Something doesn't feel right. I'm home. Huh? Miyurakun. Juro. Have you been at home the entire day? Welcome back. Dinner's on the table for you. It's fine. I'm not hungry, actually. Come on. I'm sure you'll change your mind once you start. Why do you care about me so much anyways? Oh, is that... bad? <sighs> Just quit treating me like a child. Oh, she's in love with you. Stop being a dick. Miyurakun? What's wrong? I'm sorry. But there's somewhere I need to go. I won't be long. A gas explosion? I need to see for myself. Fluffy. You failed to shoot a Sekigahara. You're going too damn slow. All right, sorry. Why were you taking so long in there anyways? Striking stupid poses with your gun doesn't accomplish anything. When it comes to things like this, you need to do the deed quick. Quickly, you got that? <sighs> I'm sorry I didn't catch that. Got it. Well, nothing that can be done about it now. But you better not screw up this time. This time? Shu Amiguchi, the floppy-haired dunce that hangs around Juro. He is also a witch. <gasps> you should still have some bullets left. Seal his powers tomorrow. Think you can handle that? I'll get it done. Man, we're just popping everybody today. Are you watching me? Fine. Juro. You were waiting for me on purpose, weren't you? Uh -uh. I keep telling you, if they find out, we'll, we'll get expelled. expelled. <laughs> yeah, I know. <sighs> right. Oh. Yo. Good morning, Amiguchi kun. Good morning. Did you leave your motorcycle nearby oh. again? What's up? What do you want? Oh. I'm not here to talk to you, Kurabi-kun. It's you I'd like to see, Amiguchi-kun. Me? You're from 1C, aren't you? I am. My name is Megumi Yakushiji. Cool. So what can I do for you? Well, I don't really want to talk about it here. 
Could we meet somewhere later? Just the two of us? Oh. Oh, somebody's jealous. How about after school? Let's say the roof of the new building. The roof? Yep. I'll be waiting. It's hard being so popular. Does that bother you? No. I. Oh, he jealous. I see. Fluffy. I know what you're going to say. Do the deed quick, right? I won't fail this time. You better not. It's uh, this way. So I heard about the delinquents at our school. Apparently, they used to be a lot worse. I heard that too. I sent a graphic one to one who really reformed them. Shu Amiguchi. Well, couldn't he a delinquent too? I wonder yeah, if he's already on the roof. Either. Plus, Amiguchi-kun hangs out with him. Oh, of course he's with a friend. Oh, I totally forgot. What the hell? Shoot, quickly. <gasps> what the hell is this thing? You're one dangerous girl. Well, that went up to uh, up Shit Creek. Can't have things go that way. Ah, there you go. I need to wait for the right moment. What's happening? Oh, this is Yakushichi-san, from 1C. She stopped me this morning. Told me she had something to talk to me about. <sighs> this shit again? Sheesh. Sometimes you're real annoying to be friends with. I'll just get out of your way then. Oh. Uh, it's him now? Again? Oh, just stuff from middle school. Girls used to confess their love to me in front of him all the time. No, okay, can't do it. Oh, oh, wow. Is that what this is about? I'm sorry, really. But I've got feelings for someone else. That's not what I came here to tell you. I came oh, here to sorry. shoot you in the face. Awkward. So what do you need? Take the shot, take the shot. No need to apologize. This might hurt a little anyway. Ugh. Mission accomplished. Sentinel number 20, transmitted. <gasps> Contact with Miura too. Damn it! How irritating. Juro, he he saw me do it. I'll take care of it. 
What are you still doing here? I need to manipulate his memories. And make him forget everything he saw. You think I can do that with you hanging around? Take a hint and scram! <sighs> that cat's an asshole. Alright, so if I go chart, and then let's see where else... So, I guess she's done for now? So apparently her story is only 42... Oh my god. Everybody has a percentage? Holy shit, dude. I mean, we're almost done with this guy. He's about 75% of the way. We barely started him. Oh my god. Oh, let, me, let me go back to here and... So we're 44% of the way with this. So... I'm gonna say maybe three, four areas and we're done with this, right? Overall story progression has gotta be 30%, goddamn. Do I have to recall these or? Assuming I have to use MP to I know someone's gonna yell at me later and be like, Nick, you idiot! Why would you spend money? Because I'm stupid. It may not have done anything for me. I just scan through this because I don't know if it's actually changing anything or not. No, okay, I didn't do nothing. I was just curious. Uh, Alright, let's see if we can go... So I really can't do anything with the... What's your who's it's? I don't know if I can do anything with her either. Um, I was a little lost. Let's bring it. Let's go cool. with her again. to do can't go wrong with apple juice me and Nachan used to drink it all the time when we were kids that damn four eyes he says there's some spy agency it's short for special investigations unit they may not be cops but they're honestly all the same to me there you are I've been looking for you. <sighs> Don't you have anything better to do? Takamiya-san, you are the Holmes. And I am the Watson. Erica Aiba, at your service. Please, call me Erica. I will do my best to assist you in solving mysteries. How would you like to start? I met Aiba while I was trying to find out more about Nachan. Seems she likes me. Follows me around like a damn puppy dog. Even my steeliest glare doesn't phase her. Frickin' weirdo. It's been several days since Minami-san has gone missing. She isn't sick, contrary to what her teacher says. And she didn't run away, contrary to the rumor that's been going around. It seems likely she was involved in something much more sinister. Are you upset with me? <sighs> Just been antsy without my cigarettes. So, what should we do? Conduct interviews? <laughs> I love mystery novels. I've always wanted to be a detective, too. I'm not playing pretend, you know. Uh, yes, of course. I am merely your capable assistant. Huh? Well, at least I'll try to be. Which should we look into first? That damn four eyes. He says there's some... They may not be caught, but they're... 
Alright, yeah, we did that already. Um This place is a dump. The wind feels nice. Been keeping this place all to yourself, huh? What should we look into first? Alright, so she's just gonna follow us around, okay. Things to ask you. Natsunomi Nami still out, huh? Seems like it. Did you notice anything strange about her? Before she started taking days off, I mean? Well, I haven't really thought about it. But now that you mention it, I noticed she was always hurrying to the track room at break. Even during class, she seemed to always be a bit. Anxious. The track room, huh? She was in the track room even during break. What was Nachan doing? Huh? She was. She's a name on the list in Four Eyes' file. Her name. It was Yakushiji. She's pretty dull, actually. Was there something else? Is there anything else you noticed? About Natsunomi Nami? Huh. I did see her fervently scribbling something in her notebook. And it didn't seem like it was just notes on the lecture. Hmm. Nachan was writing things in this notebook. Things that had nothing to do with her classes. Could it have something to do with her disappearance? <sighs> Was there some? I think it's about it. Have a minute. I got some things to ask you. Can I help you? No. This girl. She's a name on the list, and Iori... You're the one next to her, in the red glasses. Her, too. Tomi... Kisaragi, I think? Now you. You've been going to Natsunomi Nami's house, yeah? Any news since? Oh. Team? Yes. Natsunomi Nami is too, right? Did you notice anything strange about her? Besides her being absent from school. Well, depends what you define as strange, but... Natsuno did stop coming to training. But I'd still see her in the locker room. Doing what? It seemed like she was there to get something. Something like... Some kind of UFO-looking thing? I don't know exactly. It just looked like a box when it was in her bag. A box in the locker room, huh? Yeah. Something that the girl on the track team mentioned. She said Nachon went into the locker room to get a box. And described it as some kind of UFO gadget. You're on the track team, right? I'm a second year and captain of the track team. Well, someone's got to stick up their ass. There you go. I, I'm sleepy, so I'm losing track of my thought. Did you need something? Yes, actually, I did. But for some reason, there you go. I wanted to ask you about Natsunomi Nami. She's full of herself. She skipped out on our last few training sessions. But I guess she's out sick. Did she look sick to you? 
She looked fine to me. Right? <sighs> yep. I thought so too. I think it was after that one incident. That's when Minami-san started skipping training. And school too, I guess. What incident? There was a fire in the North Building. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's unrelated. But... But... A fire? In the North Building? Yeah. I heard an explosion started it. Really? I heard it was arson. It wasn't gas leak? Did you need something? Right around the time of that fire, Nachan started skipping her training sessions for track. Could it be related? Right around the time of that Nachan, could it be? You heard anything about that fire in the North Building? No, I'm sorry. I don't know anything. about the fire in the north building no okay shikishina it's that company with all those commercials for tvs and fridges so they're making nachan my childhood friend we went our separate ways in middle school but we still kept writing to each other she's the only person i really care about All right, so Excuse me. That room is for authorized personnel only. It's just a damn locker room. Can't get in the locker room as long as that ditz is around. Guess I have no choice. I gotta ask for her help. I can see the primary suspect. I am certain their intentions were not pure. The hell are you talking about? Yo, Iba. I want to take a look around the track room. But that goody two-shoes over there keeps stopping me. Uh, you want me to be a decoy? What? You don't want to do it? Oh, good heavens! You and I are partners, Takamiya-san. I shall not let you down. Yeah, okay. All right, brown noser, go do hold it. hold her attention until I get inside the room. Wait for me out here when you're done. So is it just gonna... There we go. Okay, cool. Yes, yeah, 100% there's something wrong with this controller. Oh, yeah? I would like to inquire about Minami-san. You too? Oh, was there someone else? Well, yeah. Hmm. Tiny nameplates. Nachans found it. This must be that notebook. The one that girl in Nachan's class was talking about. She said she saw her fervently scribbling into it. What follows is an investigative record of important moments in time and space. I have finally encountered my destiny. He has arrived from outer space. An actual extraterrestrial being! In summary, whoa, aliens really do exist. An extraterrestrial being? Did Nachan make all this up? Or is it possible she really was abducted by aliens? Ah, bitch, just crazy. What follows is an investigative record of important moments in time and space. 
These advanced life forms have managed to conquer time and space itself. Who could have dreamed that their technology had such capability? An actual gateway to time travel, right in Tokisaka Shrine! Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe Nachan went there. Either way, it's definitely a clue. What follows is an investigative record of important moments. There are Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe Nachan. Either way. What follows? He says he's looking for a robot. It's called Sentinel Number 17. Writing inside of it seems to enable him to fight against evil aliens. A robot. Could this be what Four Eyes was talking about? Is this the weapon Shikishima is developing? Hmm. Not chance. Nothing I haven't already. Huh? I thought you were supposed to be distracting that girl. She was called over by her senpai. So, off she went. Ugh. I thought I told you to wait outside. I can't do that. The locker room of the athletics building. Just think of the drama that unfolds here. I thought I told you to wait outside. I can't do that. Oh, okay. Is there something else I'm supposed to bring up to her? You heard anything about- No, I don't know anything. Soon we gotta go talk to this guy. Hey, don't talk to me. Takamiya, with the SIU. I assume you've heard about me? So you're the student on the inside. So you're not here to supervise me? What's the deal then? We received new intel. Confidential information from Shikishima was brought here. About those weapons? Cram it, will you? Just ignore me. Worry about your own mission. Hey. Don't talk. Alright, so now what? I can see the primary eye. Their intentions were. Hello! Alright, um. one of them she's a yuri oh yeah you know the one next to her told me yeah we did that already <gasps> oh there he is oh gata Why are you here? It's a public roof, ain't it? I mean, not technically speaking. I said, why are you here? Just checking if schools aren't privately owned by it. the Japanese, then it's that handkerchief was technically yours. government property. Yeah. So what? <laughs> I thought it was a girl's. <laughs> you, Danny, what's good, are you bro? Trying to pick a fight with me? I've never oh, actually seen uh, that show, so I'm not never. very familiar. So about not 
I mean, Minami. What are you getting embarrassed for? You've called her that since you were kids, right? All right. So, Nachan, you know she's gone missing? Yeah. I do know. I suspect the black suits have something to do with that. I heard there was a fire in the north building. Wait, which dude is screaming his head off? Who? That it was caused by a certain cigarette smoking delinquent. You trying to accuse me of something? First of all, I don't smoke. Second of all, the fire was in the girls' bathroom. And rumor has it, it wasn't even really a fire. Something happened in the girls' bathroom of the north building. Something happened in the girl. Why do you say that? Oh, okay. I Everything saw okay? Being chased by them one time. You what? What the hell is going on? Tim Four Eyes never mentioned that little detail. I also heard rumors about some kid in middle school. I guess he's been looking for her too. Something fishy's going on, but it's getting complicated. I can't keep up. The agent on Nachan's case, Shino Nome. Do I have to ask her for help after all? I mean, she is pretty messed up too. <sighs> have I answered enough of your questions yet? Get lost. Is it? Yeah. I want to take a look for myself. Let's go to that girl's bathroom in the north building. Certainly. Jesus Christ, like a bomb went off. Holy shit. I'm surprised this school just lets the students walk around There's like this. There's no way all this was from a fire. Not one burn mark in sight. It seems more like a bear went on a rampage. These scratch marks, they're carved pretty deep in there. There's signs of damage all over the place. This can't have been the work of just one person. Someone's eyeglass frames. They're red. Probably belong to a girl. Is it one of the apartments uh, near you, Danny, you think? Or one of the houses? Any ideas? Who do you think these glasses belong to? Well, the glasses are broken, so they won't be wearing them anymore. Do you remember anyone wearing a pair like that? Now that I think about it, yeah, I do remember someone. Nachan's friend in Class 1B. And a name on Four Eyes' list. Tomi Kisaragi. We are not allowed to be in here. Oh, we'll get in so much trouble if they find us. What is wrong with you? It just feels like we're actually. Hey, you know, some now. people are just inconsiderate. They choose to do their domestic disputes at late hours of the night and piss everybody else off. Tomi Kisaragi. I think I saw her in the class one hallway just now. I gotta find her. Maybe whoever those glasses belong to knows something. Oh! Wait for me! <laughs> she was somewhere around here before. Absolutely, the nervous some of these people. Where could she have gone? She's gotta be nearby. No, uh, what I miss? The last thing I saw was uh, Sean talking to me about that HVAC program basically blowing up my computer. Not here either. Oh, 
I see Danny spreading democracy. Please don't run off. I can't keep up. Oh, there she is. It's just magical. She just disappears when she wants. Hey. Yeah? Are these your glasses? What's this all about? Go ahead. Take a closer look. Well, they do look the same as mine. But you probably noticed. I'm wearing mine right now. So obviously they can't be mine. Hmm. You went to the girls' bathroom in the North Building, that right? What happened there? Oh, what's with all the questions, anyways? I know you were there. Damn, Danny playing, spreading freedom, saving building? lives, and fighting monsters during finals. Why would I go all the way there to use the studying? Anyways. All right, listen up. These glasses were found on the floor of the bathroom. And you're the only one in this whole damn school that wears glasses as distinctive as these. So you're blaming me? What could I possibly gain from setting a toilet on fire? Fire? You're not messing with me, are you? Actually... What's a good luck charm? Sentence spreading freedom at this point, or finals? Yeah? I saw her. The day of the incident. Usami-chan was in the North Building. Well, Miwako, what the hell? But I really did see you there. I saw Matsuno-chan there too. Wait, what? <sighs> I feel bad for making them wait for me. I should hurry up and get these to the art room. I don't know if that would work for me. Oh, Matsuno-chan, so I looked at that simulator for HVAC and I'm Where like, I'm so party? fucking lost. Where is it really the <sighs> Sorry, Miwako? What was that about? Hmm? Huh? Usami chan? What happened to your leg? Did you hurt yourself? She didn't even explain it. She ignored me? That's not like Usami chan. Minami look. Hmm. She was in a hurry. She had her bag. Oh, yeah. On my way back from delivering the copies, I saw another girl. But she was covered in dust. It was really weird. And now that I think about it, she was coming from where the bathroom was. Who was it? Is it the big titty nurse? Hmm. Well, she looked mild-mannered. And I know I've seen her face around here before. But I don't know which year or class. So two Tomi Kisaragis. Unless she's got a clone. And a girl covered in dust. What in the hell happened? In the girl's bathroom. Lots of crazy stuff. They filmed two girls, one cup, and one toilet. 
Oh, that's just... <laughs> well, well. Why did I make that joke? There are just some jokes that should never be made, and I... No. Uh... Damn, I still get... I, this is, I said for this video that I would do both, and I literally can't. Like, I have to wait till I'm at least 30% in this. Um, so I've got a lot of shit there. How many people have I unlocked? One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eleven. So we got about two more characters still to grab, and some of them are locked. Some of them, they're. Oh. Okay, the game like stalled for a second. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna take a break here, guys. Normally, I would keep going for about another. 20 minutes or so from now but I've been running since about six o'clock this morning and I'm exhausted so I'm gonna call it a night here I'm gonna check on my channel real quick see if there's anything I gotta do and then I'm gonna crawl in the bed so Thursday night I think I'm gonna continue this maybe or that or maybe get the guys together I'm not really sure I'm gonna see what everybody's doing figure things out but as always if you guys finally enjoy this channel content and you enjoy my stupid nonsense any engagements you guys leave helps the channel out. Likes, dislikes, bell icon, comments are great ways of helping out. And I appreciate it. Helps with the algorithm. If you want to come hang out with me, link in the description below for the Discord. But with that said, I am out. Thank you, Danny, for joining. As always, brother, I will talk to you later. As for everyone else, if you haven't done so already, feel free to join the Discord. Link in the description below, and I will see you around. Thank you. Have a fantastic night. Later, people.